Hello, and welcome to the church of fuck you. I'm St. Patrick. All right, church, I was recently having a conversation with someone, and they were just saying, you know what, well, Patrick, what do you believe in? And it, it kind of struck me because I'm like, damn, I really had to think about it for the probably first time in my life. I don't believe in shit. Like, I really don't believe in anything. And I'm talking about anything like religion and movements and all these, you know, things that everybody's trying to do and conquer and, to, and all this other stuff that they punch and throw into society that you have to believe in. And I don't believe in shit. And it's probably because a lot of the movements and religions and everything else just seems it want idiotic to me or is contradictory or let's be quite frankly honest the people who represent these movements are full of shit so let's just break this down real fast so everybody says like the bible is holy for me to believe in the bible um then i would need the people who actually believe in the bible to stop removing shit that they find inconvenient so you can't convince me that the bible is holy and pure and at the same time tell me that slavery is wrong because your bible promotes slavery you can't tell me that, you know, for, I'm sorry, for me to believe in a God, I would need his or her will to stop including, you know, children being murdered or molested or tortured and everything else. I'm sorry, if that's in your will, you know, that's your plan, you know, that gives you glory, you know, God's ways are mystery, you know, mysterious, you know, we don't understand God's ways, then yeah, fuck you, dude, I'm sorry, we're, I'm, we're just not going to agree. I would love to believe in the Black Lives Matter, oh, I'm sorry, Black Lives Movement, would love to believe in that shit, but I'm sorry. I would actually only be able to believe in it when people give a shit when black people kill black people. Not everything else. All right. Sorry. There's another movement. I believe it was called the Me Too movement. Yeah, I would love to believe in the Me Too movement. Sounds great on the surface, but let's be real. I would actually believe in the Me Too movement when Tara Reid gets as much, t much attention as Christine Blasey Ford. And if those of you who are saying, who the fuck is Tara Reid, I rest my case, Your Honor. The Me Too movement seems that if you accuse the right person, all women are to be believed. If you accuse the wrong person, fuck you, shut up, you lying bitch. Okay? Yeah, not really a movement I can get behind. Pro-choice. Would love to be wonderfully part of the pro-choice movement and, you know, women's right to choose and pro-choice and pro-choice. I would believe in the pro-choice movement when, you know, some lady who has a miscarriage and she's sitting out there crying and someone of the, of the pro-choice movement comes up to her and is like, don't worry, don't feel sad. It was just a fetus. It doesn't matter. Let's keep going. Um, women's equality. There's a huge movement on women's equality. And I would actually believe in women's equality when women start fighting for laws to be removed that favored them. So let's just say, you know, I believe there's a woman's right to choose. So when are women going to start fighting for a man's right to choose? Because that's equality. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, let's keep going. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I definitely believe, want to believe in the guns are evil movement. If people, let's say, who promote this movement stop surrounding themselves with fucking guns everywhere they go. That would actually add a little more weight to, you know, your fucking argument. Same goes with the whole, you know, police thing and, you know, defund the police thing. Would love to get behind that if these fuckers stop calling the police every time something happens. Um, voting. Yes, there's a voting. You know, you get on a vote. Vote or die. Vote, vote, vote. I would love to, you know, believe that voting matters if one politician has ever solved any fucking thing. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. Give me one politician that solves some shit and then I would think, in, you know, voting actually fucking matters. My two personal favorites, because you know I would save those the best for last. Um... I would love to believe that you can, you know, choose your gender or a gender is up to the person. Um, I would love to believe that as long as, oh, I'm sorry, I will believe that as soon as everything else becomes, a, you know, selectable. There's a selection process. I'm sorry. I'm not fat. I believe I'm skinny. Your scale is full of shit. Now I'm going to need you to take off at least 150 pounds off my weight. Damn, I, I looks like I'm too skinny. I need to put on a few pounds. Oh, you know what? Yeah, um, my bank account says I have $15, but I really feel like I'm rich. So, you know, Mr. Mr. Chevy Chase or Mr. Bank of America or Mr. Whatever Bank you have, can you please go ahead and um just add a couple zeros at the end of my, you know, end of my number? So I think I, I, I feel I have about $15 million in the bank, you know, since, you know, it's selectable. You know, oh, yeah, you're on a, mm, I don't feel those kids are mine. You know, go ahead and fuck your DNA test. I'm not paying shit, you know, because we can choose shit now. So, yeah. I'll get behind the whole gender selection process when everything else becomes selectable. And my all-time personal favorite, um, 
Climate change. I would love to believe in climate change if the people who actually believe in climate change weren't the most wasteful fucking people on this planet. So let me get this straight. You get on your private plane to fly halfway across the country, get off your plane, and you and your little, you know, entourage takes 15 SUVs that get 10 miles per gallon to an arena that uses more electricity in one night than most small countries use in a fucking year just for you to give me a speech on how my toaster is killing the fucking planet? Fuck you for real. Now, I have more of these, but I'm just going to stop right here. You kind of get the point. I would love to believe in some shit, but it seems like everyone who believes in shit or claims to believe in shit, and I'm sorry, not everyone, most people who claim to believe in shit or represent shit are just full of shit themselves. All right, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'm out.